Greetings. It is uh, eerily silent right now, which uh, works for what I'm playing today. Uh, today we are playing Song of Horror, a spooky game. And I have started this stream realizing that as soon as I click on live scene, I'm going to have to mess with the settings again. So that it actually displays the game. But, uh, we're going to be starting from episode 2. Because I've played episode 1. And I don't really want to do it again. Because uh, it's, it's a pretty basic episode. It really just teaches you what the game is about. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Someone not even in chat, and I'm getting some funny fucking message. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, playing Song of Horror. Starting on episode 2, because first episode is really just a tutorial thing. Not really too many spooks, even when I'm playing on... I think I'm playing on the difficulty Edgar Allan Poe, which is uh, the way the game is meant to be played. I know I lost a few people in the first episode, but... Uh, uh, who did we end up keeping alive... Uh, there was the. I'll, I'll show you when we get to live scene, which uh, I'm going to move to in just a second, so that I can sort out these settings. So uh, give me a moment, because uh, I completely forgot that I have to do this every single time. Because screw trying to use auto. Auto just doesn't work at all. I'm still on OBS. I only have one monitor, so I can't switch to game right now but that's the guy that's the guy I managed to keep alive like the only guy that stayed alive in the last one <laughs> uh, this game is hard I remember that uh, it does kill you out of nowhere a lot uh, so you know but at the very least, we're going to choose a character to start off with this next one. I know we don't want to play Daniel. He's the main character, and if you die, you do lose your character. They're gone forever, but if Daniel dies, then you have to restart the episode from the beginning. So everyone else is expendable. Completely expendable. Oh, I never noticed that they had uh, new stats this time. Oh, that's quite useful. Or at least I don't remember them being shown as bars. Um, I think we'll bring in Bertrand here. We'll start off with him. Bonus item. I don't think we need a bonus item, but the haikus I think are important. But yeah, we'll bring this guy. He's pretty strong, you know. Pretty strong, pretty stealthy. Kind of a jack of all trades. So hopefully, even if I lose him, I can at least use him as a sort of scout. A scout that might last long enough. I hope. I have tried this episode before, and I started off as a police officer. Who ended up getting taken. And then I played as the, the daughter of the uh, shop owner here. And I walked around the corner, and turned out the police officer was around that corner and shot her in the face with no input from me. So I just couldn't do anything. I'm going to have to try and remember how this game uh, plays now. Okay, that's... Okay, hang on. Let me... Let me... Uh, let me... Let me check my controls if I could remember where they were. Okay, so... Okay. Gotta listen at doors. Use your map by clicking left thumbstick. Okay. The run is holding left trigger, and then you have to keep calm with the heartbeat. Okay. I think I I think I got everything. 
I have found a key. I'm surprised I actually remembered where that was. I mean, I didn't. I was just looking through the pot. Get me in the door. Yeah, well, I, I know that. I've got a key. How do I open my inventory? <gasps> there we go. Use the key. It's already opened. What? I wasn't looking for a moment. I was looking over at the Twitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, judging by these canes and umbrellas, there should be someone here. Oh, listen at the door. I don't hear anything. I mean, I'd be very surprised if I did already. Okay. Eerily quiet. And I always hate the silence. Whew. Okay. The lights are on. And there's no sign of Mr. Farber. Let's take a peek inside. Yes, definitely. Varied antique ornaments. Model ship is huge and full of exquisite details. Oh, that's creepy as hell. A Coulter fortune teller machine as a boy I used to put in a coin just for kicks. There's an old telescope in the corner. What's this? Uh, I can't find it. I can't remember where I stored that blasted music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes, otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there is also a wardrobe full of dry bloodstains. We took it out into the courtyard and dragged it to one of our storage rooms in the basement, but which one did we place it in? I can't even remember what colour or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? I'd have to buy luminol, right? That's what police use. Perhaps that way I could find the, uh, the lot of products containing the wardrobe. And the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to the original owners, the Legrant Amsberg family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? I highly fucking doubt it, because these are basically fucking demons coming after us. Receipts for purchases of several lots of antiques by the Farber and Sons shop, along with the addresses of the original owners of these lots. One is marked Letters, Old Finishings, and a Music Box, Le Grant Armsburg Auction. Yeah, so this music box kind of summons uh, evil deities called the Silence, I think? Yeah. Oh, I was hoping I could just, like, break it or something into something more useful than just a coat hanger. A big table. I'll remember the diving, the diving helmet in case... Oh, shit, yeah, okay. Gotta remember the table in case I need to hide there. Gallery door closed. Enter. Ask at the counter. Oh, I highly doubt it's going to be easy as just going to the counter. Uh, scrolls and books are collections of old treaties. I never managed to play this game with headphones before because originally it was always on my laptop, like downstairs in the living room, just without headphones. Small souvenirs like keychains, coins, and such. Amanda loves these things. Uh, decorative figures and antique books. Even the till is an antique. Need a special key to turn that off. But yeah, um, never managed to play with headphones before on this, and uh, sound design is actually real fucking good. You can hear all the creaks and it's making me real uneasy. The treaty here looks important. Okay. Silver hand mirror, my wife would love this. Uh, these books look really old. I wonder what kind of people buy these things besides rich people, of course. Wait, I saw there was a little dot. Wait, okay. The table is covered with antiques, and I bet I'd fit. Oh, for fuck's sake, yeah, just telling me about another hiding place. Thank you. Armor looks light, designed for maximum mobility. The mask. Oh, is that something in its mouth? Mm -hmm. Oh god, is this a good idea? I'm gonna I'm gonna reach in. Okay, I found a coin. Oh, it's for the for the machine. Okay. 
I was kind of like I know a lot of those scenarios. The thing could just like I fully expected it to just rip my hand off. The gramophone, the little lamp. It's as if someone took Hush's house and crammed it into a single room. Uh, biographies of famous historical figures. Drawers and metal security lock. Can I use the hanger on it? Damn it. Uh, the key wouldn't work, would it? No. Well, I'm sure I'll find something. Might as well use this token I found. I'm not looking forward to when I have to hide under a, de uh, under a desk, because that involves like a, a heartbeat mechanic and... I always hate listening to heartbeats because that makes mine beat a lot faster and then I stress out. Okay, tell me something. Please don't laugh at me like that again. Uh, uh, there is something you forgot. Remember it and you will be blessed. What have I forgotten? I feel like I've interacted with everything here. So I've forgotten something? No. Can I, like... Hmm. Is this gonna be like in uh, Resident Evil where... You could, like, interact with a certain bit? No? Okay. It's been a very long while since I've played this game, so it's gonna... Oh, Old medical kit, it's terrifying to think of the doctors of yore actually using these things. Okay, something I have forgot... Oh, there's a room back here. I opened... I should have listened first. I'm still alive though, that's good. <laughs> uh... Dear Isaac, I'm sorry you're about your trouble getting to sleep. If it's any consolation, I have been suffering the same plight recently myself. Perhaps due to the imminent proofreading of my novel. If quality can be measured by the time invested, it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that's not always the case. Despite everything, I've found a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the carving in the woods, I am certain that it's European, from the late 19th or early 20th century. I also noticed that it's of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in its era. I will continue my research. Get well soon, Sebastian P. Husher. I don't like that creaking noise. It's freaking mm -hmm. me out. Because I just know that something's going to jump out at me. Um, is there nothing else in here? I suppose not. Get me out, because I do not like the creaking. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just the fan, but I don't like it anyway. Oh, hello. Uh, dressmaker's dummy has got some type of frame in the back. Guess I can't use it. Okay. Nice guitar, but doesn't seem on sale. Old suitcase even has hangers inside, what a luxury. Uh, Albert would love this spyglass. The kid's obsessed with pirates. I swear I'm hearing footsteps to, like, the left-hand side of the screen. That must make quite a bang. Okay. What is this thing? Why does it look terrifying? Kind of twisted mind to think that this jack-in-the-box is a fun toy. Yeah, that's the same thing that I'm wondering. Old vases and musical instruments, that's quite an assortment. Uh, vases and pottery, they'll probably break if I look at them too long. What's this? Ah. See, several leather-bound notebooks here. They're in pretty good shape, despite the wear and tear. Okay. A medieval suit of armour. And a bathroom. Let me listen. I'm not hearing anything. I think it's okay. 
Though I swear I'm hearing more things in that fucking room. What's this? Spray bottle that warns probably held dangerous substances. Mm. It's empty and filthy. Yeah, there seems to be a thing with all the mirrors being completely shattered, and I have no idea why. Towels for the store clientele. Okay, well, I got a spray bottle. No idea what to use it on, but. Yeah, got a spray bottle. So we will eventually figure out the use. I still don't like any of these noises, and it's creeping me out. Um, alright, let me take a look. Can't go through that door there. Maybe there's something out in the exterior that I'm missing? That could be something. Supposedly there was a door right next to the toilets? Or something to use? Even though I'm not particularly fond of weapons, this shotgun is nice. Oh, this. Let's take a listen. I'm not hearing anything, so I think we're okay. Nope. Oh, damn it. Of course we can't go through. Son of a bitch. Using the items that I have currently found. Oh, didn't mean to turn that off. Free light, please. Thank you. But yeah, using the items that I've currently found, I need to try and figure out what I could use these on. Or maybe I should leave the building and see if there's anything else out. I'm going to leave the building and see if there's anything else I could probably make use of. Because at the moment I have no idea. Right, um. Take a step out. Right, the sign is not going to be any use. Hmm. Oh, noodle shop. Well, that's not helpful in any way. Okay, I don't think I forgot anything outdoors. Anything here? Nope. Okay. Just gotta think. It's big brain time, but I have small brain. So I don't know what to find. This door I couldn't go through, right? Did I try this door? I don't hear anything. <gasps> I didn't try this door. Oh fuck, I hate it already. I'm not hearing anything. Locked from the inside, though. Okay, let's go down the stairs and uh, see if we find anything. It's grating up above. It's behind this door. Hearing anything again. No. Won't open without a key. Would this key work? Not gonna happen. No. Well, I I I tried at least. Back up the stairs we go. To continue to be confused as to what I'm meant to be looking for. just know that the fucking shadow demons are going to jump out at some point. And I ain't going to like it. Let me check these. 
the crawling ones listen behind a mirror, don't let them out. Searching for the glow warrior cage rain and one down below. Huh. Just trying to figure out some way. Not gonna happen. I'm now just like literally trying to combine items together in the hopes that something happens. Um. I mean, I really wish he'd write something useful in this notebook. Okay. We'll get it eventually. Just gonna take a little persistence. A little persistence and the touching of absolutely everything again. But I'm really hoping to get this done as quickly as possible because this is making me real uncomfortable. <laughs> I am massively spooked right now and I don't like it. Um. God, where else could we go? It doesn't feel like there's much else left. I haven't found any special key. And I feel like, uh... I feel like... I feel like I'm missing something. But I don't know what. I can't go through that door, I know that much. Am I missing something among all of these items around here? I don't think so. Pretty sure I checked everything. Um, let me think, let me think. Hang on. Considering this is a store exit, couldn't I just use this key? Oh, of course. I'm an absolute massive fucking buffoon. Of course that key would work on that door, it's the fucking entrance and exit key. I don't hear anything, so I think it's safe. No. I felt like I heard something when I first put my ear to it, but not anymore. Nope. Went open without a key. Isaac Farber in A, Molly Rangel B, Gibbs Family C. What about this door? Door number three. Not hearing anything again. So I think it's okay. But it won't open without a key. Okay, well... Again, not hearing anything. Uh. He really does not like going out into the rain. Even they know not to stay near the Cthulhu haunted shop. It really makes me want, like, the characters in this game don't actually seem to really leave well enough alone when they start getting hunted by, like, fucking demon tentacles. And it's real strange. Because I'll be, I'll be out of there like a fucking shot, just like, nope, 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 no, no, I'm gonna do it. I don't like that. I, ch I checked the window and I instantly heard footsteps coming from this direction. <laughs> Though I am glad that the rain silences when I'm trying to listen. That's useful. But I don't have the key. God damn it. And I'll assume I'll need a key for that one as well, so there's no point even trying. 
I mean, I'll try it if it turns out there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Wait, there's something in the rubbish? Oh god, please don't die. Oh thank god. It's another one of those tokens. I'm so bloody glad. Every time it ever gives you those options, I'm just like... Because I know in the first episode there was an option to like reach into a bathtub full of like black ooze and if you do it you're most likely dead. Alright, if I grab this it's going to fall, isn't it? Yeah. There's gotta be somebody to get down there. I already know the way down, which is handy. But first of all, yeah, checking these areas. I don't hear. I, I, one of these days, I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't hear anything, and then I open it and get insta killed by some type of demon. I feel like I hear very distant crying. But maybe that's just me. Like, like I'm just crying. Just fucking shitting myself. Let's continue. I already don't like this room just for the uh, like the 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 ambient music. Why do they have to do that? Why does this room have to be so fucking creepy? Okay, let's read this note. End of shift report. Okay, uh... 10.38pm, while on rounds I detect a small leak in one of the water pipes. I placed a bucket under it and sent a notice to the building's insurers. 1.13am, uh, I hear someone pounding on the main door coming from outside. I approach and ask who is there with no response. The pounding stops. When I open up, I see no one on the street. 440 I think I hear a melody playing behind me. I go out into the inner courtyard and find Miss Isaac Farber barefoot and wearing nothing but a pair of blue pajamas. His eyes are closed and in his hands he's holding a music box which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading to his shop. Okay. Let's continue. Look at this plant. The plant is completely dry. Bastard's not looking after the plant. Okay, I'll assume there's some reason to be looking at all of these. The the ambient music is uh, putting me off from staying around here, though. Uh, gate, the gatehouse window, I see a set of keys. Oh, the coat hanger could work here, right? Hanger will be easy to bend. Uh, I can reach the keys with it, but the keychain is too small. So I need something else alongside it, I suppose. Okay. Let me listen in. Oh, this is a good way to keep the ambient music quiet. Not hearing anything. Can I go in? No, no of course not. I guess that is the gatehouse. Doubt it will work. Okay, well, let's just get the fuck out of here. I don't like being in there for that long. The music was really putting me off. Right, well, we know how to get that fucking uh, card that fell down. We just have to go back to where the grating is in that underground tunnel room. That was next to the toilet, I think. No, never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, shit, which room was it? Can't even remember. Oh, I remember now. 
I remember. We're okay. Everything is fine. Just looking at where the hiding spots are, just in case I need to fucking run. Whatever that noise is to my left, I really don't like it. <laughs> Every time I walk in there. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's going on now? What was that noise? What was that noise? Whatever it was, <sighs> probably not very fucking good. Oh, let me guess. Check on the CCTV and see some spooky shit. Because that's always smart. My character's heartbeat is going. The controller is vibrating. I don't like it. Okay. It's fine now. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. Don't zoom in. That's like the worst idea when there's a demon. Because he's going to jump the fucking camera and I'm going to piss myself. Well, he did something spooky. Ugh. Whatever that was, it's gone now. Oh yeah, it's definitely gone. Gone out the building. Uh, definitely couldn't be hiding anywhere around. We're safe, folks. We're safe. Uh, demon's gone. He'll never return. Right, get me the fuck down these stairs. I want to run, but I know running just makes too much noise and attracts the darkness closer to you, and that's not a good idea. Now just give me this, whatever the fuck this is. Oh, look, a demon. Again, I don't know why he's so surprised. What the fuck is this thing? A roof. <gasps> oh, okay. I think I know what I could use for this. Because that fucking chest thing has a mag... No, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know what I can do with that. Um... No, oh, come on. I know exactly what I can do with it. Hang on, maybe if I do it like this. Come on, man! We could just... If we could remove the magnet... Son of a bitch. Right, okay, well, I'll figure out how to do that, but I swear we could probably use it with the, uh... The coat hanger. To pick up those keys using, you know, the magnet. I do wonder, though, can we use the magnet to unlock this, uh... This lack? No. Ah, oh, come on. God damn it. Okay. Well, at the very least, I'll head... Oh, no, wait. I can use one of the coins for this thing. <laughs> Take my silver coin, you peasant. Thank you. Uh, play and win, play and lose, having doubts, go right through. Please, enough with your cryptic shit, just let me know if I'm gonna die. I don't like that the heartbeat just started up again. At least I know that's a hiding spot if I need it. Right, where... I remember. I remember. It's the exit door. There's more footsteps to the right, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Please don't do that ever again. Like, those three doors are locked. I know that much. Yeah, let's get it up. We're going to run a little bit because we're outdoors. I doubt anything bad can happen. It instantly gets murdered. Back through here. Ah, oh, fuck, a cutscene. Something creepy is gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, hello. What minigame am I gonna have to do to get past you? Huh. 
Something to do with holding my breath. Can't see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile, so you need to keep calm and stay quiet. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing by gently moving left and right trigger. Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. Uh, okay. If it feels your presence, it will come closer and closer with each mistake you make. Don't let it reach you. I'll I'll try and not do that then. Oh, I, I see how to do this now. Okay. It's all based on uh, how how hard you end up pushing the stuff. I don't like these mini games. Again, it stresses me out, and uh, my hands start shaking. Please just go away, you fucking demon. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Uh, Holy crap. What the hell have I gotten myself into? I'm surprised you didn't question that in the first house. Because when, you know, creepy, creepy decaying dude with a bandage over his eye is what sets you off. But when giant tentacles were trying to smash down a door, now nah, you were fine with that. That's normal. Okay, I need to figure out how to take this feckin' magnet off. Ah, oh, come on. It does make sense. I swear to you, it does. Oh, okay. Uh, that works. Then combine. Yes. And now... Uh, shit, use. Get me them keys. Thank you. Uh, bet they open more than one door. Okay, well, we're gonna be checking multiple doors then. Starting with this one. It's already opened. What? the hell is that? Uh, this is here for all the residents to see if the doorman were my employee, he'd never hear the end of it. Goddamn smut right out the window. What if there's children? Here's the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter in case anyone needs to access. Uh, okay. Where's the key? I'll assume he ended up moving the key somewhere. Uh, 8.51 a.m., plumber from the insurance arrives and repairs the leak in the pipe. Uh, package is delivered to block 2, flat 3B. Nobody is home, it is stored at the doorman's desk temporarily. Mr. Isaac Farber is asked about the incident which took place during the night shift. He seems to be confused and not to know what I am talking about and appears upset. Uh, appearing upset, he asks me many questions. I offer to call a doctor but he assures me he's fine. Daughter to salesman is found trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I usher him out of the building. Oh, look, more CCTV. Oh, good, I don't have to watch them. <laughs> uh, is there anything behind this door? Listening very careful. I don't think so. Doesn't sound like it. Where am I now? Oh, I know where I am, okay. Not hearing anything again, should be okay. Nice carpet. Is this the key thing that I was looking for? Looks like it. Crank handle. Yeah, I think that's the key. Yeah. Crime scene, the TV show, I don't know how anyone can stomach that sensationalist garbage. <sighs> I would have more to talk about, but realistically I'm just trying not to shit my pants. Okay, no one in there. 
Oh, but I already don't like this place just for the fact that there's a mirror. Ah. Why? Stupid fucking hand dryer. F bra in the fucking sink. F fucking asshole. <laughs> Liquid antiseptic. Uh, okay. I'll assume I can combine that with a spray bottle. No. no? I wonder what it's used for then. Because I would have assumed that this it would have worked with the spray bottle. Just because I get the feeling it's going to happen sometime soon, I need to check how to do this again. Okay, I remember now. Thank God. <laughs> I don't want to be caught with my pants around my ankles trying to figure out how to shut a door. Notices and reminders, nothing out of the ordinary except for that letter of complaint from Erica Farber. Huh. And now we have a shortcut. Thank God. I know something is gonna try and spook me again. I can feel it in my very soul. So let's use this goddamn key. And be on our way. There we go. Gallery unlocked. Where we saw Mr. Demon. Do I have to check CCTV again? Probably. Nothing is there. Screen. So, except we already know that this demon teleports, so... You know. Oh, fucking heartbeat again. Why? Is it because of that slamming? Probably because of the slamming. Okay. I already know that the door is too thick to listen through, so... I already don't like this room. It feels weird. Like, ambient music was creepy, but silence and creaking is just even creepier. See, an, it's odd to see a rifle by a sword. Guess they have their reasons to display them like that. Wait, what was that? They all look really old. I'm surprised with how well preserved they are. Interesting box in there, but it looks like it has a combination lock. So I'm gonna have to find something with a combination. Antique books. Can't begin to imagine the languages they're written in. Uh, jewels are there. Okay, so I need to. I don't feel like I found a document with codes on it. Or maybe it's not even on a document, maybe it's on something, uh, feckin' weird. At the very least, we can get in there now. Um... Uh, trying to think of where we could go next. Maybe we can try unlocking those uh, doors. That could work. In we go. Okay. Uh, do you work? Please work. Mm -hmm. It's already open. Excellent, they work. And I am not hearing anything. Every room I enter I don't like. Something rather large under this blanket. Oh no. I, I really don't want to move that blanket. I really... Oh, God, my headphones are falling off with how much I was shivering. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I really don't want to remove that blanket at all. 
I feel like doing that would be a very bad idea. Maybe if I can't find anything else to do, I'll uh, remove the blanket, but right now... Right now, just no. Okay, I don't hear anything. Another storage room. Uh, okay. Another note. Uh, I'm afraid it is too late. I have heard the melody. Catherine and the children have two, just once. Nothing will happen to them, will it? Dear God, that melody. Something is different inside my head. It's made me see things I don't understand. Things I'd rather not continue seeing. I'm so sorry, Isaac, but I feel forced to send the music box back to you. I'll keep researching it, but I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family. Please take care of yourself and forgive my lack of courage. Sebastian P. Hersher. Oh, that's a, actually a real good idea, my guy, because this music box is a fucking devil. Okay. Unlock. I don't hear anything. In we go. Okay, this is not really what I was expecting, but not too bad. What is this? Is that cassette tape? A recording. Fucking hell. I was afraid of going mad if I did. So, perhaps in a rush of panic, courage, or folly, I turned on the light and woke up. I got out of bed and went to the bathroom to wash my face, attempting to lift away the heavy feeling of something pressing on my chest. Then I saw my reflection in the mirror. The face looking back at me was grotesque. It was deformed and changed color, and it was jolting about with despair. It was banging against the glass time and again, trying to warn me, or to escape the place it was in. It seemed as if it was screaming, but I couldn't hear anything. The scene was so horrific that, well, I woke up again. I was inside the bathroom, standing before the shattered mirror. Okay. That lightning strike and the sudden heartbeat really scared the crap out of me. <sighs> Please don't start with this shit. Holy shit. Oh fuck, something is coming, isn't it? Let me in a room, please, for the love of all that is holy. Uh. Not gonna Fuck. Shitting hell. Uh, okay, let, let's just. Okay. Back to normal. Oh. Uh. Alright. Uh. Okay. Let's, uh, what was it? This one? Kept a copy of the key to the house in the display case in the showroom. Inside the Chinese puzzle. I would have left it for you, uh, left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. I've provided you with a reminder of the combination on the back of this note, in a somewhat cryptic form. Uh, from left to right, first wheel... Right, okay. Oh, so the last one's going to be a zero, probably. Because I don't think you can write zero in a Roman numeral. So, eight, five. Oh my god, uh, fourteen, 
Okay. Right, I'll, uh, I, I think I can figure that out. Get me the fuck out of this place. Please stop with that creepy ass noise, whatever the fuck that is. And we go back to the gallery. Okay. Puzzle was this one, right? F E what? Right, okay, um Maybe it means Okay, hang on, I'll try So if you find an eight eight uh five Wait, if I had an eight or a B, I can't. I can hardly. Tell. That is an eight. Uh, third wheel says fourteen. I'm pretty sure that's impossible. Fourteen. Maybe F. Uh, and then a two. That's an 11, so maybe E, then a 0? No. Damn it! Okay, we can, we can get this. Um, there is one other thing I can try. One other idea that I have, as soon as I reset everything. Right, maybe just move it the amount of times that they say, so... One, two, three, four... Oh, wait, but should I go up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. And now we have to solve this puzzle. Mm -hmm. I should be able to rotate them, but they're stuck. Um, maybe the hydrogen peroxide could help with that. Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Not gonna happen. So I need to figure out something to unstick a Chinese box puzzle. Now where else can I go? There's still the mirror, of course. Um Maybe I could try the doors in the courtyard? That could work. How do I get there again? Oh, it was uh, this way, wasn't it? I have to go out to the exit. Ah. See, I know this game could potentially just thrust me into an infinite corridor. And i got to remember to you know, not panic, and just go back. Unless, of course, the other way ends up being infinite as well, and then I'm stuffed. So I don't have the key for that? No. Okay. What about the other doors? <sighs> not the right key. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's alright. Um, damn it, I don't need to turn that off. Um, okay. I c 
could try, uh, if I go back for those stairs again, the one that's, you know, like, directly underneath me, I just hope that there's no demons again. Please, demons, just stay, stay where you belong, out of the fucking way. Oh, you son of a bitch. There's nowhere to hide in here. No, there is nowhere to hide in here. Is this, where's the close? Okay, I know where the closest place. I gotta go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You gotta, you, you gotta act with some more. You gotta act with some more urgency, my guy. Okay, it was a. I gotta go somewhere else. Yeah, come on, under the desk. Come on, you. Dickhead under the desk. Okay, heartbeat time. Okay, just Calm down, my guy. You're okay. Everything is fine. Everything is a o k. We okay. It doesn't help when uh when you start panicking all over again. So just please, please don't startle. Thank God. Fucking hell. Ugh. Okay. What the hell just happened? Something that has happened to us plenty of times before. Why am I in like constant sprint? Okay, I stopped now. That was weird. Maybe my, I mean my controller is cheap, so maybe it just got stuck. Right, anyway, down these stairs, and we'll try the door at the bottom. Please work. Huh. Thank God, okay. I ain't hearing anything, so I think we're good to go. I'm having uh, flashbacks to when I tried this episode before and I swear one of these doors are like instant death. This one sounds empty. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's something definitely evil behind that door. I'm not going behind it. This one sounds fine. Where are we? Uh, damn, Walter, what the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block four, which lead down to the window on the first floor. I know it was you, plus you ruined the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? Now I've informed the building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell is up with that girl. I don't really give a damn. Stop screwing around and start behaving yourself. It may turn out she's not hysterical as you claim, but rather that you are one big weirdo. This is the last time I'm putting my ass on the line for you. Ton of tools. Uh... Electricity measures. You got an adjustable wrench. I can't even begin to think what we could use that for. I, I don't remember anything that could potentially be used for an adjustable wrench. 
All I know is that I'm definitely not going behind that door. Fuck that noise. I'm going out. I'm getting out of here. Maybe the adjustable wrench can be used for the... Oh, yeah, okay. I think I know where this could be useful. I should stop running. That's not a good idea. But it can probably be used for the uh, the boxes out here. Uh, adjustable wrench. Hell yeah. It's a key. A key that looks older than the hills. I wonder where this would go then. And I got my wrench back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wonder where else I could use it. My leg is bouncing violently. This is, uh, this is anxiety inducing. <sighs> I don't like, I don't like being spooked. And all I'm being right now is spooked out of my butt. <laughs> I keep accidentally switching this thing off. Okay, um, let me think. The old key. Old key. That might be used for the shed in the courtyard, I would reckon. So i got to go back to the courtyard. I'll assume it's midnight. The guy keeps acting spooked, and I'm wondering if I need to start running from something. Okay. I think we're alright. I think we're all fine and dandy. Okay, I guess the key is not for that then. Maybe one of these doors. Not, gonna. not the right key. Can I just go in here? No, no door is jammed. This one? Nope. Need a key if I want to go through here. No, no key doesn't go in there. Not door is jammed, so that's not going to open. Let me uh, quickly listen. I'm uh, not hearing anything. Can I use the doorman's keys? Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. So all kinds of notices. No. Won't open without a key. The copper one? Oh, come on. Not gonna. Happen. Not the right key. Okay. That no. won't open with that. I really hate it when he goes, you know, just starts smacking his fucking lips. No. Because it, like, uh, the noise is just kind of out of nowhere and terrifying. Not gonna happen. Okay, none of the keys work here. That's okay. Just go upstairs. Okay, I'm finding it really hard to even talk during this stream because I'm just constantly on edge. No. Won't open without a key. I'm no. going to test this. Can you stop smacking your fucking lips? No. But yeah, I'm going to be testing this key on every single door. No. <laughs> just in the hope that it no. turns out to fit one of these. Not gonna happen. No. I mean, something tells me it probably won't. No. You know, it's a, it's an old key. I doubt it would fit for any of these doors. I hate this viewpoint because it makes it look like there's okay. gonna be something waiting. Why is the A up there? 
upside down on this one. No. Please stop smacking your goddamn lips. No. For the love of all that is holy. No. Not gonna. Okay. Nope. I swear to God, my guy. I like you. No. You're a cool character, but just stop smacking those lips. No. Before I smack them off of your goddamn face. Oh, no. And there I was talking about bad viewpoints. Let me get this. Okay. One of these doors are going to end up just randomly opening. I'm also going to check this bin. Nothing in the bin. No. One, please. Not gonna. Not the right key. No. No. Nope. No. No. Not the right key again. Not gonna okay, so we went all the way up here checking every single door and getting our asses terrified out of us uh, for completely no reason. This key does not work anywhere. It's a dud. We're gonna die. I really cannot begin to think where else the key would go. Especially since we uh, we have a lot, we, we went up a lot of floors. Um, trying to figure out where that is. That was down the stairs, right? And then there was a locked. D Maybe it goes in the door down the stairs. You know where there's a demon door. But not like the ones that provide you treasure from Fable. No, this one just fucking kills you. Just on sight. Okay. Well, now that I know where I need to go, I can head over there. I don't know if it's quicker to go through this way. I mean, maybe not quicker, but... You know... It feels safer going this way. I could be horribly wrong. I'm really tempted to uncover that mirror, but I also just really do not want to, because I, I get the feeling something bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. You really are some type of bitch, aren't you? What? I was, I, I was still, I was still near the line. Why did you cough? You absolute buffoon! Just, just stay, stay the fuck calm. Seriously, all of this loud breathing would get him fucking killed. He doesn't even need to cough. <coughs> Oh my fucking god, please. Please just go away. Please. Ugh. 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 Okay. And there I was, I like... Wanted to, to get me. Oh, really? I didn't fucking notice. Oh. I think you just wanted a hug. Well, I know that I'm terrified now, and I just want to go home, even though I am home. <laughs> oh, let's go this way. It's going to be much safer. Just gets instantly fucking stopped by blind bitch. <sighs> okay, let's uh, let's go get this locked door open. If this does open that door. 
Right, I know that one is the death door. This is the door we want to be checking. It's not the right... Are you kidding me? So where does this key go? Oh my god. Seriously, where, where, where? I'm so confused right now. Because I couldn't test the, uh... It's got to be that greenhouse, surely. It's got to be the greenhouse. But it wouldn't let me uh, put a key in it. I'm going to have to try again. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go back to the greenhouse and try a key again. And with any luck, it will open. I just really hope that spooky boy McGee won't be waiting for me. Please don't shut that door that loudly ever again. I still need to figure out... I mean, there's got to be something in the uh, that greenhouse that will let me... Oh, my brain just can't function right now. Something in the greenhouse that will let me, uh, you know, oil up the fucking puzzle box. Still really tempted to check that mirror, but I also know that will be a very bad idea. I, sti I still know it will be a very bad idea. I guess maybe if I check, because I know there's this window right here that I can check in. If only I could get it. The door is locked. Okay, so, you know, use a key. God damn it, uh, use a wrench. Son of a bitch. Um... Well, I'll admit, I am completely stumped right now. Um, I've, I've, there's got to be a way to open this puzzle box already. They're saying that the, there's, there's got to be a way. There must be something that... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, damn it. I was hoping that would work. I just fucking wrench the, uh, the cylinder box puzzle around. Am I, am I missing something? I feel like I'm probably missing a very vital component somewhere. Some type of, like, uh... There's got to be some type of fluid, some type of fluid that I can use to loosen this fucking puzzle box. Hey Taz, this is a uh, song of horror. It's a uh, Cthulhu. Oh, son of a bitch! Something's trying to get through this. Okay, is something trying to get through the door? Yeah, yeah, something trying to get through the door. Stay out! Get away! You're not wanted! I don't want to know about our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ! Stay the fuck out! <laughs> Fucking hell! I just barely made it out of there! <sighs> Yeah, that's basically been my entire reaction through this game. Just, uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, I, I really think that I'm missing some type of chemical component somewhere. Something that I can use the hydrogen peroxide for. I don't know. I really don't know. 
can't use the uh, spanner with anything, to my knowledge. Hmm. And I can't put the antiseptic in the spray bottle. So... Oh, actually, hang on. Give me one second since... Uh, since Taz is here. Says he won't let me in this fucking thing. God damn it. Uh, hang on, just, just pausing the game for a second. Give me one moment, folks. One cotton picking second. Did it there? Did it there? There we go. Hooray. Fantastic. Okay, back to getting ourselves uh, shit scared. As I try to figure out what in the hell this key could be useful. Or where I might find some type of fluid that can help me ungrease the Chinese the Chinese puzzle box. Oh you're very welcome. You're very welcome. The problem is is that you caught the stream uh shortly before I was going to get off. <laughs> But I want to figure out, like, how to progress next before I actually get off. And, uh, yeah, I just don't know how to right now. All I know is that I'm getting the bejesus scared out of me with every step that I take. But surely we will... Oh, that is absolutely fine. Oh, of course, there's a hiding space underneath that. At least I now know that. Maybe, I mean, the mirror is not broken, but incredibly dirty. I was hoping that maybe I could just clean it off with whatever fluid that I had on me. Oh, well. Can I take the bra? I think it'll look nice on me. I think it will fit. I think it's my size. But it won't let me take it. And that makes me sad. Which is a better emotion than being constantly fucking terrified with every step that I take. Ah, I'm really trying to think here. I am racking my brain for potential uh, uses of everything. But I just cannot think of anything. I mean, there has to be a good reason why we can look through all of these, right? <gasps> Wait, I know there's a there's another set of boxes on the other side. Can I Uh let's see. Um Ah oh, shit, if only I could actually remember the guy's name, but I never I never remember anything. Um Okay, hang on, let me take a look. Sebastian Husher. I think that Oh no, no. Isaac Farber is the the one that I'll be looking out for, right? Farber. So I'm looking for Farber. Cuz maybe this old key opens a mailbox. Hang on, just double checking through everything again. Farber, Farber. No, I don't think uh, it's on there. So we'll check these. Farber. God damn, Farber. Uh, 
I mean, to be honest, I could be just checking these and wasting my time and not actually having to look through any of these. Farber, Erica Farber. B43C. Okay. Not that that actually helps me anyway. Like, I don't know what I'd have to do over there. I might look down the lift just to see if there's anything. Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, sorry. I didn't know that would happen. But I'll assume that might have done something, maybe. <gasps> I didn't see this door. Oh, the door is several. Oh, it's the... Okay. So that big door just leads out here. Oh, that's all right then. Alright, so I still have no idea how to get in there. I don't have the right key for it. Uh, there was no point going into... Oh, did I... I did test this door with that key, didn't I? I'm gonna do it again, just in case. No. Yeah, okay, I did test it. <sighs> we will find our way through this, chat. We do not have to worry. I already know there's no point going that way, though. I might remove the sheet from that mirror. That's the only other thing I can think of. Is removing that sheet. If this kills me, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry a lot. Oh, okay. Ah, fucking hell. That scream I did not like at all. Fucking Jesus Christ. I knew I I knew I shouldn't have because I read that note. I read that haiku that said, Hey, don't open don't look in a fucking mirror because he's there. He's waiting for you. And no, I was a stupid fucking idiot. That was a stupid idiot that looked in the mirror. That is what happened. <laughs> I looked in the Goddamn mirror when I shouldn't off. <sighs> that means he's gone. He's dead. He's he's gone from the story. He won't come back. He won't come back at all. So now we play as um. I think this is Erica. Because I'm pretty sure this is her father's place, and I need to pick up a. Yeah, you kind of like you have to find. Uh, if you, if you, if you head to where you died, you can find your items again. But uh, it's a whole rogue-like system of you know that character's dead, he will no longer come back. Like Dad to leave the lights. On. He like he he will literally just not come back into the story at all ever again. I lost three characters on the first episode. The only one that survived was that guy that just died. <laughs> okay, considering my items are in there, it's got to be safe again. Okay. Okay, so that's all my items back. But now I have to be afraid of the fact that he could be anywhere in the building. Thankfully it's not the police officer, because I still remember the time where I tested episode 2 out. And the police officer died. And so I ended up playing as this character right here. And I went around the corner and was instantly shot in the face, because it turned out that his possessed body was around that corner. <laughs> And I did not expect it. <laughs> so I just got suddenly shot. <laughs> but at least I now know. I now know. Never open the mirror. 
Maybe there'll be a time where I try and do a run through of this game, like, without dying, hopefully. But for now, that's not happening. I still don't understand what any of these messages mean. Yeah, the, the previous character you were playing as can end up possessed. And you can end up finding them. Like, I, I already know. If, if it's not someone that ends up killing you on sight, I already know that if you see a previous character standing there crying, it's just best not to go near them at all. But no, this is what I should have. Like, the crawling ones listen behind the mirror. Don't let them out. I should have listened. I should have fucking listened. I shouldn't have taken the mirror out. Uh, like I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have uncovered it. I shouldn't. And this is something to do with a well. Searching for the glow warrior cage, rain, and one down below. Uh, that's got to be some type of puzzle. But I just can't figure this out, and this is already taking uh, longer than I expected it to. But I, I want to figure out what I need to do. I've already used the CCTV. I've been in the gallery. Curio- yeah. All because I just didn't know how to advance. So I was like, maybe, maybe it is behind the mirror. It's the only thing I haven't touched yet. And rips it off, gets insta-killed. Alright, I've already gotten whatever was out of the samurai's mouth. Um... Oh, fuck. I really cannot begin to imagine where I need to go now. At all. The interior flats. That's something I forgot about. Oh, god damn it. Bloody camera changes. Messing me up. Okay, let's... let's uh, if I go back to the interior flats, maybe maybe the key will work there. Uh, if I... I have to keep popping back into the map just to remember. Okay, it's back, uh... I should also really stop running, because that's just going to attract the attention of the darkness. Okay. So... I mean, the other two doors are jammed. There's only one door that can be open. This is the only door I'm pretty sure I haven't tried a key with. So if this doesn't work, well, I don't know what else to do. And I may end up looking up a guide. <laughs> Fuck me! What the hell was that? Huh? Fucking Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, there's something evil behind that door. I am uh, never opening it. Let's uh, let's just go home. Let's go home and uh The problem is is that I kind of need to go through that door. Hello? Yeah, there's still a demon. I still hear demons. Uh Ah, oh, but it's a locked door. There's got to be something important. I'm going to test the key. It's a key for the door. Now that I've unlocked it, I'm not hearing demons anymore. Please don't be an instant death cutscene. Something's wrong. Dad, where in the world have you gone? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can't have left the house. Unless it was an emergency. Mirror's broken. So I'll assume the people that realize that there's demons in the mirror end up just smashing them.
because it look it unlocks with the key okay I, I I needed to progress in some way so I ch I chose the room that the key unlocked <sighs> what's this please don't electrocute me okay then why did I unplug that was there a need Yes. Ugh. That's, uh, fucking terrifying. Oh, a UV bulb. I didn't even know that I needed that. Oh. Character's heartbeat is starting to go again. Okay, letter three. I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I now know who made the box, but he died years ago. His name was Argos Legrand. As soon as I find out more, I'll let you know. I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. I hope everything is going well. Sebastian P. Hosha. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely well. Haven't been through this one. I am not hearing demons, which is a good sign. I don't like how much noise I'm making here, though. I wish there was a way to recheck my character's stats. I'm pretty sure she is real stealthy and also resistant to panic. But she is not strong, so trying to uh, keep a door closed is not easy. <laughs> uh, dear daughter, I've tr I have tried to arrange the keys for you. The ones on the right-hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. The coloured metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black plastic keys are all for devices and apparatuses in the shop. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made of the old display cases. The round green plastic key is for your motorcycle, and the red plastic key is for the safe. The small gold key is for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are, in the, are for the storage rooms and the warehouses where we keep the lots of antiques. Okay. Oh, what's this? Pet food. A box of dead cockroaches. This is what I feed my pets. What pets do you have? And why does it sound like they're still alive in that fucking box? Okay. Make a cup of tea. Make a cup of tea and hope this all blows over. Maybe. What? Oh no. <gasps> the exit said the twenty oh fucking what the shit. Okay, hang on, I need to I need to pause for a second to just think about this. So, the door out of here has just turned into a painting of an exit. Which means something is likely going to kill me. Or at least I get the feeling something is likely going to kill me. <sighs> okay, let's just go on in here. Oh, uh, fucking hell. Oh, I accidentally turned my lighter off, son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, hey, you look up walkthroughs if you want to. I'm, I'm doing my best to try and figure this out by myself, but I'm also like, uh... 
it's just one of those things where you want to know what's coming up. Especially with that door turning into a fucking painting. Oh, a Ouija board. Oh yeah, that's smart. He set the bed on fire. Okay. Friction burns are a bitch. Yes. Tranquilizers. Uh -huh. uh, oh. Oh. Oh, that goes, um... I can't see it! It's blurred! <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. What? Is it meant to be blurred? I get the feeling it's not meant to be blurred and my game is bugging out. Maybe it just blurs in this room for some reason. Okay, that's a hiding spot. That is good to know. What is this? Another cassette. Okay, so I think he was on about something to do with a figure. I think. I'm not totally sure. But, uh. I think this is a good place to end the stream because it's getting late and I got work tomorrow early in the morning and I need, to, I need time to calm down. But, I'm actually thinking of doing this again tomorrow. <laughs> Because uh, this has actually been... Oh, wow. What? Oh, fine, fine, fine. You know what? Let's get out of this fucking door. Let's face a demon. Face the black figure. Where are you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Where are you? Are you in here? Okay, there's nothing in here. I, I do actually want to keep playing a bit more. Cause oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, magnesium flash camera, develop pictures, okay, creepy, okay, creepy, some of the ingredients are missing, is, uh, hang on, I guess I don't have any of the ingredients that I'm missing. Okay. Uh, I don't like these photos. Oh, I don't like them at all. And again, I don't like many things to do with... Oh, it's funny, because I can play, like, Amnesia well enough. But, uh... This game is, uh... I think it's because just half the time nothing is happening. <laughs> and it's just kind of building up that suspense of when is something going to happen. Thank god that mirror is smashed. Oh look, another... Oh, at least this bathtub isn't filled with anything. 
Guess there was no point going back here. Ugh. See, uh, like, as long as you have a way to defend yourself or run properly, I, I, I don't mind the horror game, but this one, you either have to hide and then control your breathing, or you have to make sure not to cough, depending on what enemy is actually coming around. <laughs> Or of course you can like slam, like slamming the door shot on something. That's not too bad. It's just the initial slam against the door that gets me. But when you have to spend a while, just kind of. Dad, are you in there? So I'll assume it's likely that he is in there. Okay. Um. Let me think. We can't solve. The, uh, the dark room puzzle yet because we need another chemical which I would have assumed what? okay bunch of nooses The father's killed himself, hasn't he? I bet that's what that means. The father's fucking killed himself. Solved box puzzle. What? You didn't solve it. What are you on about? Oh. Okay, well at least I can see it now. Oh, I see. It's one of these things that move... Okay, okay, okay. Let me, uh... I think I'll solve... Or try and solve this. And then... We'll, uh... End for the day. Oh. Nope. Nope. What? Oh, did I get it so wrong? Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I can do this. Oh, that can move as well. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. So, that one should go there. And then, if I move this in such a way to get that... That there, I think? Follow that. Oh, but then that doesn't actually... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I understand. I understand you. Okay, let's... We just gotta maneuver everything back. I have to keep it in such a way so that they can all reach each other. I don't know why I moved that before moving this one. That was a stupid idea. Yeah, that... That works? Yeah. Good. Uh, okay, so I found her keys. And of course, she's a fan of Cthulhu. Cool. Okay. Well, we found the keys to her place. And I know where her place is. Well, that's kind of a distance away. It's like across uh, to the other side of the map. So this is where we'll end. This is where we'll end. Uh, it has been a lot of fun. I do really like that game. Oh, that game. I, I, love, I love this game. Cthulhu is love, yes. I like the idea of Cthulhu. Just uh, the tentacle monstrosities that he sends out against people I do not like. As we've already gone to see. Speaking of Cthulhu, there is another game that I should play for stream some- There's so many games I should play for stream sometime. But The Sinking City. It's not a good game, by all accounts. The game is janky as hell. Like, the gunplay feels like you're firing a BB gun with a massive amount of recoil. And uh, movement is real shit. But, but, it does have a very interesting premise of... Uh, 
you know, this sinking city full of, like, fish people and other humans that have, like, lived together for some reason. And, uh, it's like, it's meant to be based on some type of, like, city island that no one is actually meant to reach unless whatever's protecting the city wants you to be there or something like that. I can't remember, but it's, it's, it is a good detective game. It's made by... Oh, I think they're called Frogware Games, and they made the uh, Sherlock Holmes games. And the Sherlock Holmes games aren't even realistically good. Like, you know, technologically, they're, they're kind of bad. But the, uh, the investigation system has always been real good on those types of games. They know how to do a good investigation system. So I should play The Sinking City sometime, because that is a fun game. And we'll probably do this again tomorrow, as long as I, uh, you know, don't cry myself to sleep tonight. And even then, like, I've, I've had to miss, like, I did do a short Hunt Showdown stream yesterday. But, uh, missed a lot of streams, because I've got fucking eight shifts in a row and I'm tired. So, it's been hard, but uh, I'm glad that I managed to get this one done. I'm very glad. But at the very least, I hope you, uh, I hope you have all enjoyed watching. The music's about to shut off now as I go to uh, Streamlabs OBS. Because I don't know why it shuts off. It just does. But yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. Hopefully I'll be streaming again tomorrow and it'll likely be this. Maybe Danganronpa 2 again. But that depends on if my mod is uh, going to be on watching. Because I promised to leave uh, any murders for when they come on. So I'm not playing without them. So if they can't come on, I'll either play some more of this or maybe some VR games. I haven't actually taken my Oculus out in a little while. So maybe I'll play Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And if you want to catch your stream again, just uh, f just go check my channel, Game Gremlin. I uh, I'll try and early shift tomorrow. Ooh, oh, very nice. Okay, that is handy. I'll uh, I'll probably do Danganronpa then tomorrow because I do really want to get through that game to play the third one. Because I hear the third one is real good, especially since you know the first two were designed for PS Vita. The third one was designed with PS4 in mind so it'll be fun so yeah check out Game Gremlin if you want to uh, catch this VOD again or any of the other VODs that I've uploaded and uh, if you're watching from my VOD uh, my Twitch name is Nightriders97 you can catch me live almost every day if I have the energy to do this and if I uh, you know if I have the bravery to do something like this again, we'll, uh, we'll do this again. So yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.